So I wanna show you guys a little, a little tip on the John Deere mowers. Really any mower specifically, this is obviously a John Deere, it's green. Um, but what we're gonna do is, something that's frustrating for me, and it's a safety thing, I get it, I know why it's there, I understand it, but it's frustrating because I don't really live around anything that, that uh, it's just frustrating to not be able to mow in reverse when you're working in tight areas, especially if you're really aware of your surroundings, it's, it's not really a concern of mine. So one thing that's, that this mower does and most all new, newer mowers do is if you try, if you're mowing and you wanna go in reverse, it will shut off the, the, the actual mower itself. And I don't like that, so we're gonna take care of that today. There's a button here that you can press down and then go into reverse, but if you hit a bump and your foot slips off the gas pedal and then back down, it will shut off the mower again. So that's really frustrating. We wanna take care of that today. And obviously this is something that I am going to do to my mower. I am not recommending it to do to yours. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. So if you open up the hood, I can have direct access. You're basically gonna start looking for your reverse button. Mine happens to be right here and I can get access to it right from underneath here when I open up the hood. So you're basically going to unplug it and we'll show you what to do with the rest of it. So this is really simple to do. You're just gonna need some dikes or cutters of some sort, some wire strippers, which are here, a razor blade, some heat sh or some shrink wrap. If you've got some, you can also use a wire nut, soldering iron. If you don't have wire nuts, you can use a soldering iron, some solder and a torch or a heat gun to shrink the shrink wrap. Again, if you use wire nuts, you don't need this these or the solder and iron, you just need these. So you don't necessarily have to unplug this sensor. It might make it a little easier if you do. Mine basically just pulls off. And essentially I want to cut, I want to cut it off where if the future owner ever wants to reuse this and, and make this feature work again, they can do that. When you're cutting, you never wanna cross two wires and cut at the same time because that could basically arc it. So I'm gonna cut one at a time, one there and one there. And you can set this aside for a minute. Now what you want to do is wire strip these. These happen to be 16 gauge. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of each end. And once you've removed those, you're gonna spread the wires out a little bit. This one as well. And go ahead and twist these together. You can use a wire nut on this. I prefer to solder them just because it's fairly easy to do. So once you've got these twisted up, you can bring your soldering iron over and basically solder these together. This is not a soldering tutorial, but you basically just want to get the wire hot. And then you can start the... the melt in action here. Let that cool off for a minute. In my experience, it's best to let this wire cool off completely before you add any kind of shrink wrap to it because it'll shrink prematurely and you'll have a hard time getting it on. So let that thing cool off completely. We're gonna put some shrink wrap on it and we'll be set. So once that wire's cooled down, go ahead and slip on your shrink wrap as far as you can get it. Mine, I'm for sure only gonna be able to get it to about 
right there. And then grab a heat gun or a torch or a lighter or whatever heat source you have to take care of shrink wrap. And we're just gonna shrink this down. And I like leaving a little extra on there. There so that the end of the wire is completely covered up. And I'm going to go ahead and plug back in this plug. That way it's there if we ever want to use it in the future. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this out of the way with this other harness. That way it's not jiggling around in there. Just like so. And we'll cut off any extra here. Perfect. So now what's nice is if I go to mow and need to reverse, I don't have to hit that button anymore. And essentially, just so you guys know, the only thing that you're doing here is taking these two wires and connecting them permanently together. The difference is, is with the switch is when you hit that button, it essentially breaks and unbreaks the cycle of electricity flow between these two wires, telling the mower, hey, shut off or you're good to go keep running. So that's essentially the only thing that you're doing is making it constant, if that makes sense. Now, these don't have any electricity to them anymore, so there's no harm in just having them sitting there. If you wanna take this completely out, you can do that as well. But I'm gonna leave it there just in case anybody in the future wants to reconnect and it'll connect back working properly the way that it did before. So if you guys have any questions on this, leave them in the comments down below. I also did a video, something very similar to this mower, but we did the same thing with the seat. That way you can get off the mower if you need to. And again, I will link that in, the, in this video as well. But if you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comments down below. And thanks again for watching.